pastry that you make profiteroles with is called choux pastry and that's what we're going to be doing today but not the sweet version we're going to be doing the savory version with lots of cheese so I love it and they're called gougere these are a fantastic canapé to start a meal and the beautiful thing about this is the list is endless on what you can fill it with or keep it simple and just add the cheese and some nutmeg. So over here I have 250 millilitres of water along with 75 grams of butter and a pinch of salt. I've just brought it to the boil. I'm going to take that off the heat now and now we can add the flour. 150 grams of flour and I just sift that straight in. I'm using self-raising flour here and we're just going to sift that in as fast as we can because then we need to start using some elbow grease here to mix it to form the dough. So just slowly do it so that flour doesn't go everywhere and that we don't have any lumps. Okay, so that's good. Now let's place that back on the heat and we want to stir this for about one minute. What we're looking for here is for a little bit of that dough just to stick to the bottom of the pan. When that happens, you know we're ready for the next stage. So there's two crucial parts. That's the first one. So we'll just keep mixing. And look at that. Straight away, there's a light crust there. See that little light crust, the film of pastry? That's a good indication that we can take it off the heat now. So let's turn that off and then we can start adding the eggs. Just let it sit there for about 30 seconds because if it's too hot, what will happen is those eggs will scramble. We don't want scrambled eggs. We want it to incorporate really well. So just knock the heat out of it there. And now let's start adding the egg. So we need four free range eggs for this. Whole eggs, we're going to break them in one at a time and then really stir quite well to incorporate. So one, break that egg up and stir until it comes together. And what you can do, if you want to be a little bit lazy with it, you could get your mixer out. Or if you want to do some exercise, just use a wooden spoon like this. This shoe is looking fantastic. When it falls off the spoon just like this, quite easily, then we're right to go. And now we can add the cheese. I love Gruyere cheese, so a big handful of that into the pastry. Some pastry chefs actually add the cheese at the end, so just garnish the Gougieres at the end. I like to incorporate it, so when you bite into it, especially when they're still warm, there's a little bit of that gooey cheese, love it. So, mixing that. And now I'm going to just scrape that off and we need to add this to a piping bag. I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees fan force. And I've got two trays here. My trays are non-stick, but if yours aren't, make sure that you put a little bit of baking paper. So into the piping bag. Now this will probably make roughly 40 little shoe pastries if they're around the 20 cent piece mark, so that size but by all means you can make them bigger or little small ones if you like. Don't they look fantastic? Cheesy Gougere. What I did, I just sprinkled a little bit of nutmeg on the top but you can just go crazy in the different combinations afterwards. What I love to do sometimes is cut them in half after they've cooled down slightly and then add all different types of fillings. They're just so good. They look great. And they always remind me of those really beautiful parties that you can go to. A little martini on the side maybe, glass of wine. Fantastic canapé for any occasion.